state. Rent is too damn high. Rent is too damn high. The property taxes are too damn high. Sam with Jimmy, the rent is too damn high. Rent is too damn high. Rent is too damn high. Cable TV. Too damn high, along with streams now. Thank you very much, Direct TV Now. So the CEO has come out for Direct TV Now and said he is going to increase price. Take a look at what's scrolling across the screen. Just a direct spit to the face to what the consumers have been trying to tell this industry. We're not paying these prices and we want more. They're going to raise them and we're going to discuss it in this video. And if you're finding me for the first time, please go ahead, subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell, so you're down every time we drop these life gain cord cutting videos. Also, our big homie from the cord cutting industry, Larry of Black Photo, his channel is back. And we wanna get this man back to 1,000 subscribers as quickly as possible. His link is in my video description. Go down there, click it, subscribe to his channel, and let's jump into this video. What's good, YouTube? You back in the building with y'all knowing I'm loving all, feeling all, seeing all powerful, just damn all everything. That's sexy as hell, host. Bringing you life gain cord cutting, one of the foundations of this channel. And if you like getting all the life gains because we cover so many topics on this channel, please subscribe to this channel, share my video so we can continue growing this message. Now let's jump into it, but y'all know how we do. We always put on our plus seven glasses of sexy as hell because we work on skilling up this damn crab bringing you a great YouTube experience something better to look at no sponsors on this video I just want you all to go and subscribe to the life games fitness and finance channel I will be carrying on the mission of helping you save money make money and get fit on that channel go over there subscribe to it let me know what you think now we got to talk about this crazy situation going on in cord cutting so they've been trying to combat what's been going on with piracy sites piracy links and all that how the hell are you doing that major companies if you are and i'm talking about direct tv which is owned by at&t increasing your prices for your streaming service by twenty dollars which would make this the second price increase of the year and what is the excuse you guys leave me comments you should be able to guess this the ceo comes out and said that they are going to reduce the amount of channels and service increase the price because they need to increase the damn profits. How much sense does that make if you're trying to thwart piracy? Ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people got into Cody streaming apps and all that other stuff because they felt hamstrung. Y'all know how I feel about these companies. If you're really a true capitalist, you should invite competition invite it not fight it off with your dirty money with the politicians which is what they're doing but no the ceo comes out and tells you they need to increase profits i always have this discussion with my wife at some point in time the bubble is going to burst where each and every single damn year every corporation is trying to figure out how can we increase our profits without either increasing quality of service or giving more service because we want to ingest and stay ahead of inflation. That just is not a recipe when you've got a three tier economic system where you've got middle class, poor and rich. It's never going to work. But this guy comes out and says they're going to increase the price. One of the hardest things to get on any streaming service has been sports. I think sports charges the most out of all content that content providers can provide to you. And until they get their damn arms around the price, the increase in price, you're never going to get rid of piracy. You're never going to get rid of it. You can try throwing people in court. You can try throwing people in jail. With you being able to go as anonymous as companies can do on the internet and take money, especially with cryptocurrency on the rise, you're never going to get rid of it. So companies, if you don't listen to anything, 
You have got to listen to what the cord cutters are telling you because cable is already on the decline. You can forget that. Now it's coming to cord cutting where they're trying to monopolize and price hike that. Cord cutters ain't trying to pay for that bull job. Reduce your prices and find a way to deliver great quality. Second cord cutting story we're going to talk about. Fire TV sales this year was out the roof. A report from Amazon.com says the number one thing Prime members bought throughout the year on their site was the Fire TV stick. Now, was this a surprise to us cord cutters? Hell no, it's not a surprise. Jeff Bezos became the richest man in the world for a little while, and we always say in this cord cutting community, it's because of the damn Fire Stick. Next in line was Roku. Now, let's talk about why Roku may be not gaining ground on the Fire Stick. I would contend the number one reason why Fire Stick went up is because it is so easy to modify that device and put apps from unknown sources up there so that you can get whatever you want to get cord cutting wise. Whether you want to get um, those quote unquote underground streams, whatever, it is so easy to do it on a fire stick and damn near impossible to throw a hole in a square peg on the Roku. Now, I think the Roku runs a little smoother, the quality is a little better, but hell, you don't give a damn about the quality if you ain't getting what you want to see streaming. Now, if Roku really wants to catch up with the Amazon stick, they're gonna have to make it so that you can do developer options and add apps from unknown sources. But I don't see Roku doing that anytime soon. They wanna keep their app circle closed niche. And in terms of that, ladies and gentlemen, you're never gonna overtake Fire Stick, especially with that new Fire Stick that just came out, and that joint is bananas. For the price you pay for that, I would recommend you getting that, unless you're a big gamer, over going and getting NVIDIA Shield, because the NVIDIA Shield may allow you to do more, but that new Fire Stick is extremely powerful, and I'm very pleased with it, and it even turns off your TV at this point. So if you haven't seen my video on how to jailbreak that fire stick, it's in the link. Go check it out. And I want to hear you guys' comments. How do you feel about the future of cord cutting? Do you think corporations are going to ever listen to what the people really want? And what has been your most favorite cord cutting device? Fire stick or Android box, Roku? Leave me comments below. Go check out shoplifegames.com and we'll get back on this bringing you this great content, letting you know how to save that money. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go get yourself that life game. Please share my message, ladies and gentlemen, as I'm trying to grow this channel. I have taken my content in a bit of a different direction. No more the underground streams, just above ground, trending news, and movie news. And if you want that life game, fitness and finance, Go check out the Life Game Fitness and Finance channel. It is in the video description. And until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.